Hey guys, welcome back to the Art of Craftsmanship. My name is Dustin, and as you can see, we're not in the shop today. We're outside, and we're actually out picking up supplies to be able to put the roof up for our lean-to, which is going to be the new home for the smithy. Now, in the shop, I have all my blacksmithing stuff, and it's really starting to cramp the space down there, and I want to move it outside. We're here to get the metal roofing that's left over from this pole barn that's actually behind me. And this is Devin's in-laws, and they were gracious enough to offer us these extra pieces they have, which are going to be part of the roof for the smithy. So the first thing I need to do is unearth what we have here and cut it down to size to fit in the truck. My plan is to do around a 10 by 12 foot roof above the smithy. Um, these are a little under 17 feet long, so I'm going to cut them at 10 feet, which will just stick out the back of my truck just a smidge, but that should give me plenty. And then if I do need to extend it a little bit, I'll decide how to do that later. You guys are tying loads down in the back of the vehicle. Uh, there's a great way to make a knot that you can use to ratchet down. Now you can tie us, you know, take this and tie a square knot and you'd have a loop. But the hard thing about that is that then your knot gets really tight. Let me show you the best knot after the bowling knot. But you take, take your line, put a couple twists in it. Now this is the part of the line back where I'm pulling from. I have my loose end here. A couple twists, then you take your line and you put a loop through. From here you've created now a loop that you can lash to and ratchet from. And then when you're done, you just pull that out and it comes out really easily so you don't get that knot that's really tight. Just secure it with a little lock knot at the end and that's your trucker hitch. Yeah, so anvils are here. We'll have to move them out of the way and then we'll have to move this out of the way. And that way then I can flip it up and tip it toward. There we go. Okay. I guess I'll just move it. Same we'll back here as well. The woods. Whoop. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Not through the hole. <laughs> Maybe that's a beast. <laughs> Good luck. Not gonna hurt him. No. <laughs> is this a special ammo or just? Yeah. Well, it's, I, I got it from the guy that I got this from. Okay. He um he had that. He was like, "You want this too?" I was like, "Well, if you want an anvil in your shop, that's a good anvil. That's not, you know." He's like. I don't want it, so I offered him an extra 20 bucks. Or I was like, I'll take it. I was like, I'll only have 20, 20 bucks more. He was like, sure, why not? He probably would have thrown it in for free, but. So this is where we're gonna be building the smithy. This is right outside the shop, and it's in this area about a about a 10 by 12 is what we're aiming for. Uh, I have this privet bush I gotta get rid of, some other real random bushes and things, and then just some junk that's collected back here. We're gonna move this all out of the way and then get the land nice and cleared. Then once we get it cleared, then we can decide what we're gonna do, where we're gonna exactly place the lean-to. But I have my dad here today and I have Devin with me, so I'll be able to help out and get all this stuff cleared out and leveled before we go into our next step.
Kelly Flint Edge racing axe, 28 inch handle. Could. We do have an electric chainsaw with us, which I could be doing all this with, but that's no fun. The axe is much more fun. Timber. I'm just moving it out of the way, that's all. You're just going in this. As you know, as tight as you feel comfortable going to the ground. I feel like it was anything, and we just figured Almost we just had the uh, old, old soft uh, tank. tank. Right. Yeah, the concrete. It's still pretty thick. Yeah, it's still thin. Yeah. Oh, Let's see what we got here. Yeah. A little raw here. <laughs> so that's plenty high in the back and also so I'll come probably come you know I'll probably come six inches or so below that for the roof and then come out <clears throat> yeah it's right there I could get four bags of concrete and get four of those tubes and and pour them that's what I'll yeah and then you can just level this it's, it's not too bad yeah we have everything cleaned out and now we're going to try to start moving some dirt around see if we have enough to bring it forward and fill in this front corner that i'm standing bring this up a little bit i want to kind of get everything down about three or four inches so i think we might have enough to fill in from here but we'll see
Yes. Goodbye, you nasty old stump. <laughs> All right, guys, well, it's starting to rain, and I'm going to go ahead and clean all this stuff up. We'll come back tomorrow and start putting in the vertical posts. You know, because obviously our verticals are going to be... How much you got, 10 feet? Yeah. yeah there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's We're back, guys, and it's a beautiful day. Uh, we're going to start getting our actual verticals up, our four posts. First thing we need to do is set up a string line and set up some batter boards in the corner so we can get it nice and square to the house. Yep. Yep. Okay. Close yeah, maybe off. maybe go. Maybe just hit this a little bit more to even go back just a smidge. All right. Good. Okay. I was like, Whoa. there was a fire. They cut off the top level. This was the farmhouse though for this property before the brick house was built. Good. Yep. What's up, man? Good. Yeah. All right. Here. Cool. I'm one here. And, uh, then we'll do the, the string to get the four. Why don't you put our string line down? Then... No, that's right. Yeah, that's where it needs to be. Be ten here. Yeah. Inside. Yeah, because it's because it's twelve. The roof is twelve across, so I want it ten. Yeah. All right. And now we can do. Now we do one more. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone need well, a snake now? Well, I just mean just to give us a general. Yeah. Just. Okay. That, that's your. This is where your post is going to be inside. Right. I got the sauna tube, I'm gonna cut it into four one foot sections and we'll sink those down into each corner so we can pour concrete in each corner inside the tube. So I have Sean here today helping out from Crafting a Life I Want and then my buddy Brian as well here. Uh, it's good to have a couple extra hands today, especially when we're getting everything framed up and level. I'm wondering if you can kill this on the tube. There it is. <laughs> Pretty close. Yep. Yep. Good. Okay, there's that one. Yeah. Good. Okay, just add water. All right, this hose is right behind, behind you. Yep. Probably the sweetest thing in the house. <laughs> would be the, the thing I would do most. Yeah. So are, we, are we trusting? Well, the line's are a little It's close off, enough. So you can probably come. Just uh, yeah, just kick the bottom, just just kick it in a little bit. There you go. All right, hold there. Yeah, perfect. There we go. All right. Yeah, because I can push back against it. Yep, that's still good. Adjust the line. Just bend. It. Yeah, right. Not a ten feet. Yep. We're right on. My truck is completely full, which I took to the dump yesterday. And you remember how far you were off the wall? Yeah, fourteen. Because we still have this one. 14 is here. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. 
big old poop on the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah. As far as the tubes are concerned. Yeah, might as well. All right, we got all our four posts up. They're nice and plumb. We're gonna let the concrete settle. The next thing we need to work on is the retaining wall that goes across the front and the side just to keep the ground and the floor from kind of washing out once we do have every stone and everything on here. Then we'll work on getting the stringers and the roof up tomorrow. All right. Uh, I wanna do the retaining wall first. So that's pretty good. <laughs> now we have something that's like, that one's permanent. So we can go from there. Like I said, it's right on, it's on a stone so it can't come out any further. Pretty close. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Have clamps both. Yep. Okay. The star bits are so nice. Yeah. I might have another one down so it's hiding somewhere, but for now, I don't Stayed up too. This is looking really good. We have all of our sports up and all of our stringers up now, as well as the corner braces. And uh, we have lag bolts in all the corners as well as screws. So this would be really strong. 
and we can move over to framing up the roof. And we're gonna do the frame of the roof here on the ground so we can get everything together. This is a 12 by 10 roof. Once we get all the framing together, we'll put it up on top and then we'll do the sheeting up on top as well as the metal roofing. this end over here. Got it? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Drill. Yep, I got it. Go. Got it. Two of them 27 and a quarter and one 27. Or this one's like, it's, it's starting to get a little short. 27, hold on, 27. Do them all 27 and a half. <laughs> we got a couple more pieces to fill in the back, but I'm standing on the roof. Windy up here. All right, roof's all on. Now we just need to do the tar paper and the metal roofing. Metal roofing, back where we started. Yeah. All right. Nice. Thank you. 
you. Who needs a spotter? Start piecing this together like a quilt. See what we can get. Make sure we have enough for 10 by 12. So this, a little bit more. We're just gonna miss, we're missing like enough for one corner. That's the plan. It's a puzzle. But I think we have it. Our dilemma that we ran into briefly was that we just didn't have enough pieces. And this was all free from Devin's in-laws, which you guys saw at the beginning of the video. It's just We're just a few feet short of what we need. So we're trying to figure it out. So we have some aluminum that's two feet wide. I can do a full size sheet of that across the front, 12 feet. Uh, I have some angle pieces that are supposed to go over the edges. I'm gonna flatten them out, do them on the front first, then the aluminum, and then we'll trim these down some to get that extra distance. Just kind of work our way back. I think we've got it. We should be able to do everything. Yeah, they have the, yeah, yep, self-tapping. Yeah. All right, and then we just need another piece that's like that much more. It only has to be this much, but I figure I might as well have it. Have enough to do like screw, screw, yeah. How was the overlap? Was it here? Yeah, 
flip it around. Hand me the uh yeah, yeah. No, it is the other way around. This is my yeah, it was the funky one. It's overlapping. It's alright, I got it. There we go. Got a nice patchwork quilt up here, roof, that uh, no one will ever see, because you can't see it from below, except for everyone watching, but that's okay. So this is great. Now I have my, in the truck, there's actually a load of stone and dirt, which I'm gonna put down on the floor, and then we'll start bringing some stuff out. Like this is just right. Okay, well, let's do. The house. I think what I'm gonna do is put the forge here on the table that's down there. I'm gonna bring it up and put it right here. So it's facing out, so it's here. Actually, this one, maybe what I'll do, maybe I'll sink that one and put the horn anvil on that one. Which means we gotta go down like three inches. So. Right there, 12 inches. Good. Perfect. Oh, that thing is heavy. Oh, I'll see. I think it's a Yeah. You're in the hospital. <laughs> All right, that's good. I mean, it's not like impossible with two people. It's just, it's got some weight to it. All right. Nice. Okay. Set it here. Uh, yeah, that'll work now. That way. to here, to here, or to here, 
probably make some uh, adjustments yeah. as I go, but that's a good start. Nice. Beautiful. Nice, nice and far away from here. And I can adjust it, move it a little bit if I need to. That'll work. That'll work temporarily. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, this turned out really well. I'm super pumped. The lean-to is awesome. We were able to piece together enough metal stuff to get all the roof up. So it should be pretty watertight and it's covering just enough space to get all my gear out here. I got my two anvils, the forge, the post vise, which obviously is temporarily in place, but we'll be able to get that up. And, uh, and then I'll probably build some type of table in the back on those concrete structures. But otherwise, I'm really happy with the way it is right now. I'll probably have to finesse it a little bit, maybe add in some more stone later once things start moving around, and once I start using the space in here. But for now, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I want to thank everybody who helped us out. My dad helped out a lot. Uh, my buddy Sean from Crafting a Life I Want. My buddy Brian and his wife Liz, uh, tons of help, really awesome. And Devin behind the camera, he kind of came out and helped out as well. Uh, and then also my, my daughter, the shop elf, helped to cut the tar paper and throw it up to me, got that on the roof. So that was really fun. It's been a blast, I'm super excited and I hope you guys are excited to see more videos out here in the smithy. Uh, it's gonna be awesome to have this space out here and uh, just do some, some more blacksmithing stuff. So let us know what you think. Also, if you've got some contractors who are watching and you saw me make some mistakes, you can let me know in the comments. Uh, we always like the comments, whether they're good or bad, but you know, we always appreciate them. So thank you everybody so much for watching. It's been a blast. Make sure you don't forget to like and subscribe. You can check us out on Patreon and Instagram. We'll see you guys in the next video.